YouTube. I am back with another video and today's video will be a what's on my iPhone video. So I already have everything plugged up and ready to go. It actually took me a while but I got it together. Okay so on my lock screen is a recent picture that I took for my 17th birthday go watch that birthday vlog and my fashion over outfit go watch that haul so that's the picture that is on my lock screen and then on my home screen there's a picture I just took today before I filmed this video and it's just a selfie so on the first little thing of my um, phone just have regular stuff, my messages, photos, camera, FaceTime, settings, clock. I don't know why the camera, I mean calendar, is like all by itself. But, okay. Maps, which I don't use. I do not use Apple Maps or the maps that comes on the phone. If you use it, you know that Google Maps is better. And... That maps just it be tripping. Notes, which I use daily. Reminders, daily. Music, what's in here? Home, books, news, health, iTunes, story, stock, and TV. I think all these apps are apps that come with the iPhone. Oh, I was going to say you have to keep them on there, but I guess you can delete them. I'm just leaving them alone. And Apple TV, which I've never used any of these apps. Except for books. I like them. Oh, and help. Doesn't help tell you like how much minutes you have or something? I don't know. The app store, which I never update my apps. Look at all these apps I have updated. Raise Me. Go download Raise Me if you're a high school student and you want to go to college. And, and this is not promotion or like advertisement, but that's a really good app to like get um, scholarships and stuff. Raise Me is really good. You should go download that. For all these apps, I haven't updated. Anywho, mail, which I don't, well, I use mail. <clears throat> Twitter and calendar. And at the bottom, the phone, Safari, Snapchat, and Instagram. Go follow me on Instagram. At they love shot. And follow my hair page. Side desires and tools. Go follow. Them. So, the next little thing I have um, compass, tips, voice memos, contacts, find friends, find iPhone, calculator, followers. I don't even use that app anymore. I used to use it like every single day and check my followers and who are following me and stuff. But now I just don't even have time to keep up with that stuff. And find friends, don't use voice memos, don't use. Um, <clears throat> find my iPhone, I don't use that, but I always make sure that it's turned on just in case I do lose my phone. Let's see what else. Pandora, I don't use Pandora unless like, um, I only use Pandora when I get tired of just listening to my same playlists. I already know like all the songs on there. And then Bible, I use that. Uber, I don't use Uber because I drive, but for my birthday, we had to get Uber, so I had to download that. Pinterest, I use Pinterest a lot for ideas and everything. I love Pinterest. And then in here, what do we have? The little, oh, Canon printers. I have a Canon printer for school, Bank of America. Sneaker Crush, I use that app. I haven't really been using it because I haven't really been on the... <laughs> Sneaker Crush, I haven't really been using it because I haven't really been on the new videos. I mean, shoes. YouTube, obviously I use that app. 
but I like the when you go on Safari and use it more. I don't really like that. iMovie, that's what I use to edit my videos. I will do a video on how I edit my videos, even though I don't do much. I'll still do a video on that. Um, let me make sure the camera is cool there. Oh, you can see from way back there. Um, Netflix. I use Netflix too. Like if you out somewhere or at somebody's house and you just want to watch it on the phone, but I lost my earphones. So, uh, files. What is this? Oh, Google Drive. <clears throat> I use that for school. And like, because for school they make us use everything through Google. So I just have it on my phone just in case I need to turn something in while I'm in class or my Chromebook not working or something like that. But I use Google Drive a lot. Um, Google Maps. I already said I use Google Maps more than the maps that comes on iPhone because for some reason Google Maps works way better. And Square Ready. So I use this to um, make my picture square. So let's see. If you have a photo that's like, let me just use a recent one. I haven't even posted these yet. <clears throat> let's use this one. Say I want to make it square like that with the little white thing around. I can. I like this app. And they have it for videos too. So yeah. And then. Google Docs, that's a part of Google Drive too. I use that to type essays and do assignments for school. My Verizon, don't really use that because I don't know the password. SoundCloud, I use SoundCloud sometimes, not as much as I used to because I pay for Apple Music. But I have my playlist video coming too. I like SoundCloud. Um, Drive again. I use that for school. Photo math, I use that for math when I can just not figure out a problem. I'm pretty good at math, but some problems, they become frustrating, so I just use photo math. But now they're starting not to do like a lot of complex problems, so it's not that useful. Then Schoology, I use that to keep up with my grades, assignments, any um, announcements that we have to know about. So I have that. Zelle, Cash App, and PayPal. Definitely use those. Um, probably PayPal more than Zelle. And Cash App, I haven't used that. Raise Me, that's the app I was telling you guys about. Let me just see. Might have to edit this out. Any personal information possible. Okay, so you basically put in your grades and any extracurricular activities you do and certain colleges will pay you and then at the end when you become a senior and you start filling out scholarships for scholarships and stuff you get the money so for example from Arizona 18,000 that's how much how much I've um, earned from grades and stuff um, California Lutheran University 34,000 and you can just see it's a good app then Quizlet, I use that to make study guides, look for study guides and stuff. Google, I use Google when I don't want to use Safari or if you open up an app and it tells you to um, download Google. That's what I use that for. Stack Jump, I haven't played this in a long time. Ooh, excuse me, I don't even know. Let's see. Oh yeah, I haven't played this in a while. Let me stop. So stack jump and then Pixar. I use this to do any flyers for Shy Desire extensions or like I used it to make my price list. Pixar is really good and I use Pixar for my um, thumbnails. That's what I use Pixar for. Daily Bible app, they send like um, little quotes and stuff from the Bible. Stripe, I use Stripe for Shy Desire Extensions. Charge is actually a part of Stripe, it's like the same thing. TubeBuddy, that's to keep up with all my YouTube stuff. For example, 
any subscribers, comments, how your YouTube channel is doing, TubeBuddy will let you know, even though you have to pay for it to like tell you all the advanced stuff. Then Google Chrome. So Google Chrome, I use that too. <clears throat> I but I still like the actual Google better, but I like Chrome. I don't know why I downloaded that though. Probably for one of the apps that I use to um, download one of Google or Chrome, or you can just use Safari. And I probably had to download it. And then slides, that's along with Google, um, for, uh, with Google Docs. And I use that for school too, but I really like to use PowerPoint way more than slides because I don't know, the slides is not that, they don't have that many options you can use. Then FedEx, check my, track shipments and anything. Pick collage, I use that to, um, as a collage because on my MacBook they didn't have any nice collage apps, so I downloaded that one. What was that for? I forgot, but I've been using that for a while. Facebook, I don't have Facebook, but I use it to promote, um, promote all oh, my hair and my hair business eternal sunshine also is another um similar to a bible app but they don't quote um scriptures they just send out positive reminders and statements and stuff like that big cartel for my website shop shy desire extensions.com gmail that is who my email is through both of my emails actually Venmo, that's another money um, thing. See, I need to organize all my apps and stuff, but that should be along with Cash App, Zelle, and PayPal. Even though I don't really use Venmo like that. Amazon, I use Amazon. I like Amazon. That's where I order some stuff from. Camera 360 is an app that comes with, um, well, that they want you to download when you get a ring light. Because when you download Camera 360, the ring light comes with a little button, so you can just press the button to take any of your pictures. Camera 360 is a really good camera app. My actual background photo right here is, a pic is that's what I took it off of, Camera 360. Then Square Ready Video, that's the other app. That one um, is for video. So if you have a video that you want to make square, or that you want to flip around, rotate, turn the other way these apps let you do it and forever 21 of course that's another app what else did i miss snapchat let's see add me on snapchat oh how you guys add me on snapchat there see there go eternal sunshine um even though i don't really get on snapchat like that and already said instagram safari That is it for this video. Yeah. I'm looking at my MacBook because it's going like slower. But hopefully I can put the um, stuff together. So that is what is in my iPhone 7 S Plus, I think. So like, comment, subscribe. Comment any more video ideas you want to see. Shop Shy Desire Extensions. And follow me on all social media. The link will be in the description below. And watch my recent videos. Don't forget to turn that notification bell on. And I'll see you guys in the next video.